what do you think you have which is so credible, so good, reason for which you, you can usurp um, the not to MP Samuel Okuji to Ablakwa? It is possible. You know already that it is possible. <laughs> it is possible for North Tongue Okujeto Ablakwa to drop when the people decide enough is enough. 12 years in parliament, he should point to something he has done for the constituency. One road asphalted, none. It is this government, MPP government, that has started at Japan to Adidome Road. I heard Mahama saying that, His Excellency Mahama, he was saying that NDC government did that road. That's a lie. That is a blatant lie. That road was a rough road until His Excellency Nana Akufuado came to power to tie that Japan to Adidome Road. So, Honor, what do you think? That's the only third road. That is more trouble, good. The other ones that are tired, that they are all damaged. Doc, so in, in one minute, what do you think you would do differently if we set into power to represent the people of North Tong? I would do a lot for North Tong. I want to transform North Tong into an agricultural hub okay, because of its natural resources. Huge land, fertile land for agriculture. Most of them are farmers and fishermen. So we want to bring development. And the government has started. They invested $134 million into Togome irrigation facility, irrigating more than 2,000 hectares of land for farmers. That's the beginning. But we need to bring in the investments to support. We need to bring in the capital requirements. And that should be the focus of the MP. But it's rather chasing after cathedral and issues that other agencies, state institutions should be handling, if there is any corruption at all, which I don't see. You know, he is going after things that are not critical or essential for the people of North Tong. And that is a problem. And the people have been there, they've given him the opportunity for more than 12 years in parliament. What else does he want the people to do? So now it's time for change. The people of North Tongue are going to change Okujeto Ablakwa for Dr. Eleblu. They are going to vote massively for Dr. Eleblu. They've seen it, that he's not willing to speak even on issues that concern the people of, let's take Togome, the people of Mefe, the people of Bato, Dofo, the people of Chikpe, Chibukofe, he doesn't even know these places. Dofokome, he doesn't know these places. He doesn't even visit these people. I was with them a couple of days. We've talked, and the people understand clearly that it is time to change this MP that has become a media guru, social media expert, social media vigilante, I will say that is going after people not using the state institutions that should be doing that. Yes, parliamentary oversight. But is he the only parliamentarian? Why is he coming out with episodes, series? Is that his, his main focus? Or he's representing the people and trying to bring development to, to North Tongue? These are questions, critical questions, I always pose to, to him whenever I meet him. And I want to assure the people that I will represent them. I will speak for them. I will be there for them. I will make sure that their concerns are raised in Parliament. The railroad was done by the government, which passed a section of the constituency. It has isolated certain communities. There's a need for an overhead or an underpass. Has he talked about these issues? These are critical issues concerning the people of North Tongue. Some villages do not have water. 
What is he doing about it? Water. Even common portable water that we take for granted in Accra and in the major cities. People of North Tongue are still drinking water that's not portable. So please, I'm speaking to my people. Let me me adakone Dr. John L. Blue. And this, <laughs> the reason why we are here today is to launch the beautiful manifesto for the people of Ghana, the NPP's manifesto, which is centered on jobs and businesses, trying to bring back the economy as we promised that we'll bring the economy back to life. So the people should be rest assured that we are working for them. And I want to represent my people in parliament. Thank you.